We want to see our families back home. Well, for more analysis and the latest developments, with me is Saeed Shahata from BBC Arabic. Saeed, what more can you tell us about the WHO visit to Al Shifa Hospital? What he said, uh, there is a team of the WHO allowed to go for one hour to look at the, what happened at the Al Shifa Medical Complex, especially the uh, hospital, because you have many uh, hospitals there. And they saw like ruins and destructions and the state of the people is very bad to the extent they said it is a death zone. So because there is, they saw bodies uh, in the entrance and they saw like people like stranded in the hospitals. There is some uh, like uh, sign of like gunfire on the wall and other places. So it doesn't look like a hospital in their opinions. And this shows uh, how the uh, Israeli uh, operation in the complex affected affected people and uh, the Israel saying they are uh, for uh, looking for a command center for Hamas. Uh, so far, they didn't find anything. So still, like the question mark was the, uh, the life of innocent people, the uh, injured people to put at risk uh, because of that. So it shows, again, the misery of uh, civilian in Gaza. And the Israeli military had shown the BBC and other media some arms and guns that it said he had found at Al Shifa Hospital. But obviously, the doctors deny that it was a command center for Hamas. Tell us what's happening in the rest of the territory with the fighting, because in the south, Israel has told people to move to the west of the Strip. The problem is, like, at the start, they said to be able to move to this house. And when they would move to the south, especially Khan Yunis, which is, like, uh, was inhabitant, like, more than, like, double of its uh, capacity. Uh, now they drop leaflets, the uh, Israeli forces drop leaflets, asking people to move uh, away from specific towns. They suspected there is Hamas militant there, so they asked them to go there. But the problem is, in many testimonies of like people, even some children, saying whenever they go, there is no safe place. So this is the reason there is pressure on Israel to make halt or stop. As a fighting in order to evaluate the situation and help the needy people. Yes, and um, and Sayed, we've been talking about President Biden's columns and his vision for what happens after this conflict ends. What do you think the reaction it will be from the Middle East, uh, from leaders in the Middle East, to his plans? I think from the start, uh, and I mentioned before, King Abdullah uh, the second of Jordan uh, said in one of the uh, calls with Mr. President Biden that a two-state is a solution, is the only solution for the problem. And so uh, Mr. Biden to say that in a column saying like after end of the uh, Gaza war, what's happening now, should be Gaza and West Bank should be united under a Palestinian authority in a state. So he accepted and he admitted there is a need for uh, the aspiration of the Palestinian people to have a state on its own. I think this will help to achieve the security of Israel because now even like there's pressure on Mr. Netanyahu from people of the hostages in order to make a, a truce uh, with Hamas. And I think with, it will help in order to think about like a long, uh, long, uh, long uh, future for uh, on the long term, a future between two states and achieve security for both uh, peoples and countries. Thank you. Saeed Shahata from BBC Arabic. Thank you for joining us here on